Hello and welcome to another VCross unboxing on my channel. But yeah, today's unboxing is a very, very special one because I'm partnering up with a TCG online store and it's not like any TCG online store, it's a store I'm uh, ordering from for a long time now and which I, I really, really like. It was like my number one store for VCross and other TCG cards. And it's the Pokebu trading card store, pokebu.de. Uh, it's a German online store, but he's always uh, or all, also shipping towards like uh, Europe. Like if you are from France or the Netherlands, he's also doing shipping there. And yeah, let's, let's take a quick look uh, at the website. So yeah, this is the, the page. I should make this. So you can find a lot of TCGs there and I'm yeah very happy that he has like not only like the, the big TCGs like Pokemon or uh, yeah, or like Pokemon or he doesn't have magic, but he has like Weiss Schwarz also and Weiss Schwarz is a TCG I want to focus on more too because I, I've seen that many people care about Weiss Schwarz. So and yeah, of course you can find V-Cross, Weiss Schwarz Blau and Rebirth for you like he has quite a few boxes of uh, rebirth for you and yeah you can find his uh, socials on the top of the page my face is in the way at the moment but yeah he's also active on twitch and has very like chill night uh, live streams there so you should definitely check him out out and there's also one discount code like oh now you can see it now i'm a professional so uh, you get 5% off um, order above 25 euro with the coupon code REAPSAVE5. And yeah, let's, let's see that uh, Pokebu gets maybe some, some traffic from the collaboration. So he, he knows that uh, long we can partner up long term. I, I would really like to, or like this would, would help a lot in, in the long time because yeah, Vcross is just... Uh, a lot more expensive than the other cards I've opened in the past and I I really need to find a, a partner store and yeah Pokeboo uh, is yeah my number one choice or was my number one choice for a collaboration so I'm more than happy that I'm I'm working together with you and yeah let's see that we both uh, grew long term and yeah he sent me this box of uh, the last Japanese release VXDEP16. I have opened one box and I really really like this set. He he also has some more boxes in his shop if you want to to pick one up. And yeah, this box comes with a box topper. And the box topper is a sleeping Elric and of course I haven't prepared myself. Yeah, this is like my my first kind of serious unboxing with a partner shop and I'm like not prepared at all, so uh, where I have to to crap my my deck box, so I hope I haven't forgotten to cut this out, because yeah, you get one of the the sleeper Elrics, and we we've, we've got in the English V cross we got some some sleeping Elrics already, but I want to show you like how they are different from what you get in this one. And the cool thing about the sleeping Elrics, like these uh, level zero. Um, Elrics, you can use the Japanese ones even for your English decks. Like uh, with other cards, you cannot use the Japanese versions, but with the Sleeping Elrics, you can use them. So, okay, this is uh, Mikaela. I have learned the katakana a little bit more. This is Mika E and then R, but the, the Japanese people don't pronounce R like this. So, yeah, Mikaela. Sweet. And yeah, the, this is a diff big difference. I should learn to speak when I'm excited, but man, this is really new to me. And this means so much, this collaboration that I'm super excited and I try to calm myself down, but I'm still so excited. So sorry for that. But yeah, this on the right is the Piru look from, from the starter deck from Double Herons. And you can see there's no texture on it. Just, yeah, the, the holographic pattern. And with the box toppers in this set, you have like texture in the background. They feel like 10 times better 
I also think that they look a lot better with these cold foiling in the background. I really like them. I really think the the box topper are alone worth it. And yeah, maybe I should have shown you this too. Where is it? There. So, and yeah, on, when you click on Vcross, you can find not only the the Japanese ones for a good price already. You can also like pre-order the next set and you can get the Nichi Sanji set, which I, I, I bought two boxes for a live stream. It should go live tomorrow if everything works out. I should be live on Saturday with two boxes I, I got from the Pokeboo store. So yeah. So let's jump into the box, man. I'm still... I'm a professional YouTuber. So we start with a servant. And yeah, some of the cards uh, we have already seen. I have seen like some new decks. Like I, I check from time to time Japanese deck lists. And this is one I've seen multiple times. This looks like a meta relevant card in the future. And we've got a, a level zero Elric. And we've got the Mikaela level one. Oh, and a super rare. So, yeah, maybe I should should look these up too. I I have to cut the video anyway, so <laughs> let's do this. Uh, so this is Tobira Code Labyrinth, and she has the action once per turn. Discard two cards from your hand. At the end of your turn, draw two cards or Anna charge two. So yeah, the the timing is a little bit complicated. Like at the end of your turn. Maybe you can draw into like uh, to a guard, and then the action for one green and one colorless is if Atri draw converge on your field, this Signy gets Lancer until end of turn. Yeah, Lancer is a very nice ability. If there are zero cards in your Ender Zone, this Signy gets S Lancer until end of turn instead. So yeah, the the way S Lancer is working is that usually when you vanish your opponent's Signy with Lancer. Uh, you crush one of the opponent's uh, life cloth, but if your opponent has no life cloth anymore, it's doing basically like nothing. This is a very important mechanic in in V cross. But so you you cannot finish your opponent with uh, Lancer, but you can finish with S Lancer because S Lancer is doing damage, and this is like yeah a mechanic that's very important to understand and. In V Cross, because I myself I played a game online with I think there was a piece, a piece which crushed one of the opponent's life cloth, and I was like in my head I was counting how many damage I'm doing and how many guards your your opponent needs to protect against it, and I knew my opponent had two guards in his hand, so I was like okay I do this damage I do that damage, but yeah I I didn't count it in that. Uh, my opponent had no life cloth anymore, so my piece didn't do damage. So my opponent didn't have to discard a, a guard. And then there were like two damage from from my center Elric, and yeah, he had the two guards. So of course, yeah, this was. Oh, this, there's like some some game mechanics that are very important to understand, and I will probably record like more unboxings about this. So yeah. When you're new to, to Vicross, you understand this too. You know, and I still have to record like the the double heroines, the, the last starter deck. I I wanted to show the upgraded versions of the decks, but I I need to buy more single cards for that. And at the moment my uh I, I've already like spent so much on, on sealed products, so don't really can afford to buy a lot of single cards, so I will probably record this with like uh, just images of the cards I want to upgrade. And yeah, this is a, a zero art. I really like this character. Yeah, we got like one SR so far. And I really hope there is a very cool LR. I haven't chosen like which would be like my, my favorite Elric. I really like all of them all of the, the three set new center Elrics in this set. 
Oh, yeah, this is uh, Gab Gabriela. I would really like to pull pull her on a high roti. And yeah, and I'm super I'm super excited about the Dissonance Diva set. I I hope I I get the boxes pretty fast. Of course, I have pre-ordered them uh, from Pokebu, but sometimes like the uh, the German, what's like the the name? Like the seller who sh who shipped them to the stores. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Uh, sometimes they they mess up or they need a long time. Yeah, this was one of the cards that. Uh, yeah, I would like to see in foil because of reasons. Oh, we've got an LR. Okay. Haven't I said it that I want the Gabriela? Man, I. <laughs> Maybe if you watch a lot of my videos, or like you don't really skip through them, there are so many, so many times I pull a card that I told or talked about that I want to pull it. That I don't know. It, sometimes I I don't. I feel like I'm living in the Matrix, and uh, yeah, I can make my wish come true. So we have the the center level three of Gabriela. She has the auto ability. Whenever this Elric attacks, target Signy on your field gets plus 10k power until the end of your opponent's next turn. This is huge. Like, you can really wall up with her. Then she has the enter ability, draw a card and enter charge one. That's okay. That's like a very generic ability. Like, there's also the Irana center Elric with the same ability. So sometimes the, the different colored Elrics, they have the same ability. And she has the action one per game. Add a craft invi invincible story to your Elric deck. If you have two or less life cloth this turn, the use cost of the piece is decreased by one. Oh, I have to check what's with the, with the piece. Maybe we will pull it too. I know that there is like a, a Sashi. Oh, is this the piece? This looks like the piece. Oh, this is maybe a token. Is this like a token for the piece? Because I have the piece open on my second screen and it's the same image. So I'm confused. <laughs> but yeah, there is like a, a sachet Elric, which also like does stuff with like a, uh, with a card from outside the game, like with a craft. I remember when I first pulled one of these craft signies, I was like, I really don't understand how I how I get this card into my into my deck. But yeah, you basically get these from outside the game. They they are not in your main deck, they are not in your Elric deck, they just come from the outside, from the matrix. And yeah, a red Tama. That's cool. Sometimes when I try to read the the names, I got so confused because I was looking for the character's name in the beginning. But in Japanese, the subject, like the important thing is at the end. So you see there's the name of the character, Tama. And yeah, this is very important to know. Oh, what? Okay, I have no idea how rare this is. Okay, this is a... Oh, this is a Hirana. I can use... This is another center, level zero. Hard to see. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks so cool. For a second I thought, is this like a UR? Man, if, if you know more about V-Cross than me... Uh, is this like a, a case it? And but this is a card I will put into my into my red aqua deck. Now when I record the 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 double heroines upgrade deck, I will you you will see this card in it and you will know where I got this from. I got this from my uh from my partner store. Oh that's awesome. I wonder how how the rarity distribution is now is like, do I get still two pieces in it? 
is it like a replacing a piece hit or is, is this card replacing a SR hit? The rarities are still sometimes a bit confusing. Oh, another card I've seen already in some Japanese deck list. Let me check this. It's number 55. I don't remember if we've pulled her before. Definitely, definitely have seen this artwork. At the beginning of your attack phase, if there is an Elric on your field with Thor Overseer in its card name, choose one. You may pay one white. If you do, add target Signy with oh with a G from your trash to your hand. You can get guards back with this one. Or you can choose and you may pay one black Anna. If you do, target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 10k power. Huh. Yeah, I definitely have seen this card in deck list, so this must be good. And getting guards back is always pretty nice. And shit, the card is also the once per turn ability to put the top three cards of your deck into the trash. So yeah, self mill to find the to find the guards you want to have in your trash to get them on your hand. Or of course you can get signies and other stuff uh, into your hand too. Very cool. Oh, that's that's a pretty card. But what was so we have Michaela, Gabriela, ah, Arza, okay, of course, Arzaela. Oh, she is so pretty. Yeah, the the parallel foils of the assist Eric's they they look so lovely. Yeah, I really hope we get the the box topper in English like this but maybe they will change change them up and they don't have the texture so yeah i'm very happy that i i now have three of them oh this looks badass i really like this this artwork and the pose i hope i haven't missed this artwork before <laughs> overlooked it oh we get a foil timer so three more packs I'm I'm really excited for the future of of V Cross. Like the next releases in in English, they have so many cool new cards to build decks with, and I I will try to be like more active in in live streams to do like some live uh, live unboxings and live deck building. And in general, I want to focus more on V Cross. And yeah, we've got this pure look in the in the first box already. I of course I have. <laughs> Forgotten what she's doing, but yeah, I I did look her up in my my first unboxing. Really like the artwork of this one. So maybe we should get like one piece at least. Oh, another SR. This is a new one. This is number forty nine. Oh, where is it? I can't find it in the in the V Cross wiki. Hmm. Okay, for some reason it's not there. Don't know why. Number 14, 49. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, last booster pack of the box. And again, if you want to support me and the, the store that I'm partnering up, please check out the Pokeboo. Oh, I, of course, I, <laughs> I wanted to have the, the shop logo. In the video the whole time but of course i forgot that but for the future i will have it there all the time so yeah thank you so much for this collaboration and for for this box Pokeboo. and yeah see you in my next unboxing or maybe yeah, tomorrow when i open my nichi sanji boxes from Pokeboo. bye